Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you one of my favorite stamp sets that's in the mini catalog this year. It's this Timeless Tulip set. I love this stamp set. One of the main reasons is because it is a stamp set that has both images and sayings. That's one of my favorite stamp sets because it's all in one place. You don't have to get more than one out and it's distinctive. That's another reason that I love it. And the third reason is there's a tulip punch that coordinates with this stamp set. One of my favorite things. So I've had a lot of fun playing with this stamp set and we've made a lot of samples with it, but I, I want to kind of tell you about one sample in particular and show you what I've done with that. I was on Pinterest and I found a card that I loved. It was so pretty. It was made by Kylie from Stamper's Workshop is her blog. And I, I thought it was so pretty and I couldn't figure out quite how she had done it. It was just beautiful. And so I started stamping different ways. I love, she had this two-tone look for her tulip and I loved the look of that. So I tried all sorts of things. I got my watercolor pencils out and I tried watercolor pencils, no go. I tried blends, no, it did not look right. I tried sponging it, I tried all sorts of different things. And so finally I got smart and I clicked on her link and she actually explained just how she did it on her blog. So I wanted to just show you that today because I thought it was beautiful and it's a really cool technique to be able to do with this tulip stamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with, this is just a note card size of Whisper White and I'm gonna stamp my tulip. I have Mango Melody. So I'm just gonna stamp that really good here. Get it really inky. And then I'm gonna take Poppy Parade and a sponge dauber. And I'm gonna ink up my sponge dauber. And then I'm just gonna kinda sponge around the tulip on the stamp itself. So I haven't stamped it down on my paper yet. I'm stamping on the sponge itself. You can see just kind of around the edges there. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stamp just like that. And you can see that two-tone tulip look. So pretty, I love it. So the tricky thing is you do have to clean this in between stamping, which isn't hard with our chamois makes it really easy. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna stamp, get it all inked up with my Mango Melody, and then take my sponge dauber and sponge on my stamp with the Poppy Parade, just around the edges of the tulip, like that. And then I'm gonna stamp down again, just like that. So pretty, right? Don't you love that? I loved this look. I thought it was beautiful. So then I'm gonna finish my card. This is a really, really simple card, simple stamping. I'm just gonna add my stems. You know what, first I'm gonna add my saying so that I have plenty of room for that. What a beautiful difference one single life makes. Such pretty sayings in this set. And now we'll do our stems. Like that. And then we'll add some leaves. And the green that I used was Old Olive. And just like that, beautiful, simple stamping card. Isn't that such a fun technique? I love it. Um, I did have to step up the card a little bit, so let me show you what I did to step it up here. I used some of the Poppy Parade DSP and then some ribbon and a punch. I just kind of stepped it up just a little bit there and gave it a little more pizzazz, but basically the same idea there. So fun and so cute. I love this tulip stamp set. I hope that this encourages you to buy it. If you're interested, make sure you visit us at stampandjill.com to make a purchase. We'll see you next week on another Watch It Weekly Wednesday. <laughs>